In evaluating first trimester pain and bleeding, a pelvic ultrasound is a critical part of the evaluation. We're going to go ahead and take you through the first part of this examination. Our goal in the emergency department is to identify an intrauterine pregnancy. We can evaluate the uterus in two basic ways. One is a transabdominal approach and the other is a transvaginal approach. Right now, I'm going to show you the transabdominal approach. First thing is machine setup. Commonly, the machine may have already been set up in an abdominal configuration. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the OB configuration because it allows us to do measurements as well. So I'm going to hit the exam key, click on OB, and then hit select. The transducer is now configured for OB ultrasound. The first area that I'm going to scan will be a sagittal view of the pelvis. The probe marker is right here, and I'm going to aim that toward the patient's head and place it just above the symphysis pubis. Ideally, the bladder is full. If the bladder is full, we should be able to get a good view of the uterus. For the uterus, it will be the key area that we're going to interrogate and look for early signs of an intrauterine pregnancy. Once we're in this view, in the sagittal view, we're going to scan from the patient's left to right. When you're scanning in the sagittal plane, you identify the bladder at the top. Below that, we see the pear-shaped uterus. And within the uterus, we see a very thin line, which is hyperechoic or white. This is the endometrial stripe. If the patient was pregnant, we would be looking for signs of pregnancy within this area, within the mid-uterus. The first sign of a developing pregnancy is a gestational sac. We're going to look for a gestational sac as well as the next subsequent signs would be a yolk sac or a fetal pole. Again, these would be located in the mid-uterine position. Other areas that we're going to be carefully examining and interrogating would be the cul-de-sac, which would be just posterior to the uterus, and there we're going to look for free fluid.